I lived in Iowa for about 12 years. And, and uh, a lot of people around where I lived, there was big on you know, the Six Fat Dutchmen, you know, the polka band. But I like them too. I like polka music. It's a good, lively music. I like to see good polka dancers and good Scottish dancers. <coughs> Any more requests from anybody? Did you ever call for square dancing? No. Never did. We never danced very many times. I mostly always had to fiddle. All my family was, was real good dancers. And somebody had to make the music. I was the youngest and the smallest. So I didn't have much choice. <laughs> they kept me beat away from the table till I never got too big. <laughs> kind of stunted my growth, and then they could control me, you know. But they was they was great dancers and would dance every set. They was tough. They really liked it. My dad, as long as he could stand up and just hold on to the back of a chair, he had. And when I'd play the fiddle, he'd hit a few licks, you know. set has got the individual caller here. They just got one caller for each set. I mean, for each set's got his own caller. They don't have a central caller like they do most places. People in this country so contrary that they wouldn't agree, the whole house wouldn't agree to a dance to one particular <laughs> set. Anyway. One pattern, they'd say, no, nah, we want to dance to this. <laughs> and then there'd be a big fight, so they all just have to each set have its own caller. I don't know if, if, any, if any of you ever remember or was in the country where they had any live fiddle music over radio or anything or heard back in, people got to have a little gray around their ears. But most of them can remember the old radio programs, Nashville or somewhere that had fiddle music on it. There's a kind of a bluesy tune that was recorded in the in the 20s by a couple of guys in Mississippi. They heard the black guys, people uh, chopping cotton across the road, and they was humming this melody, and these guys liked it, and and they took it and recorded it with fiddle and guitar, and it, it was one of the biggest, probably the biggest selling record of the of the 20s, called Carroll County Blues.
few, oh, I don't know, five or ten years ago, there was a group over here at the Silver Dollar City from Holland. There was, uh, I believe there was four in the band, and they could all play the fiddle, but uh, when they played, one of them played an accordion, and the others played fiddle, and, and they played a tune. Their, one of their favorite tunes was the Chicago Waltz. Uh, one of their people, a, a Hollander, had been up in Chicago when, the, when they had the big fire in 1878 or whatever, whenever it was. And he uh, he named this tune in memory of that uh, Chicago fire. That's that's strange how these things. It all I, every time, just as soon as I hear a name of a tune, I start wondering well, how come they named it that. You know how this all happened. And I usually find out if I can. I, I don't know. Probably they just make up what they tell me, but then I can pass it on. You know I'm just. <laughs> It's not carved in stone. I'm just selling it to you like I bought it. <laughs> but it's a, it's 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 a pretty boss. If you can think of it. In the, in the school band when I went to school, I played trumpet and, and baritone horn, and uh, I could I could transfer the re note reading over to the fiddle, and have in a few cases when I had when I was teaching kids that I couldn't get it in their head any other way but with a note, and I I did do a little of that, but it's I don't know. There's something about traditional music that it's. Uh, it's all the more, it's, it, what makes it interesting is there's a little bit of, of every individual in the tune. You hear 15 fiddlers play the same tune and it come off of the same piece of music and there'll be 15 different versions. There'll be a little bit of, e of each individual in that tune in spite of all they can do, you know. I could try my best to play it exactly like somebody else and it would still wind up sounding, having my sound to us. I just can't help it. <laughs> and that makes it interesting. You like, you know, uh, some, of the, some of the stuff you like better and some of the stuff ain't quite as good, don't need to be put in there. Huh? I tried my best to learn to fiddle and I never could learn to fiddle. Well, you've got to, 
your, you've got to have a, your ear has got to, got to hear the pitch. And then all you do is just, you, you make a note. And if it's not that pitch, or the, it's got to be up or down, you just hunt till you find it. <laughs> That's the way I, I yeah. yeah. I never could figure out how to play all the notes in between. I mean, that's what I never could figure out. When, when you pick up these uh, tunes and then pass them on, uh, do they always come back the same, or does each one Never the same. The same. <laughs> never. And they come back different. Now, that's, that's like in a factory or in a place going and starting a rumor at the water cooler. You hear it an hour later and you wouldn't know your own story. You know. <laughs> well, you, do you have fiddler's contests down here? Do I have what? Fiddler's contests. Yes, yes they do have. I don't, I don't really, I don't mess with them because I don't approve of, of uh, the way they're conducted, the way they're run, and the way they're judged. Uh, they used to get me to to judge some, and, and I soon broke them from that. <laughs> you still play dances? Huh? Do you still play dances? Still Do play you dances. still play for dances? Oh yes, uh, every Saturday night. In fact, this this Saturday, Friday and Saturday night, I've got one on Friday night and one on Saturday night. Yeah, I play a dance somewhere every Saturday night, and and once a month on Friday night. Get it coming right up. Truman didn't like that one. Truman didn't like that one. Truman didn't like that one. Yeah, that was Truman's that was Truman's song. But he didn't like it. Well uh, Margaret or whoever probably didn't run him nuts with it and playing it on the piano. <laughs> what was it? Was that that was his daughter's name, wasn't it, Margaret? Yeah, Margaret. Oh, this is this is a little different version than you've probably ever heard. Uh, some fellow that was grew up up around Springfield, moved later years to California, and when he recorded this album, he was in California and had been for many years. But uh, he was still a Missouri fiddler. You could hear it in his fiddling. And uh, I don't know where he uh, he didn't even say anything in the notes about where he got this version of the tune. I never heard it anywhere else. But it's, uh, if it wasn't an original part of the tune, it should have been, is all I can say. And I just added it to my version.
Now, don't you agree with me that that other part makes it part of your tune? Any more requests? Turkey in the straw. Turkey in the straw. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 